Now we are discussing the Laplace transform of derivatives of f of t. f of t function derivatives of f of t means f dash of t, f double dash of t, f triple dash of t and so on nth order derivative of t. So these are all derivatives of f of t. For these derivatives we are finding the Laplace transforms. That is kept under the property that Laplace transform of derivatives of f of t. Its statement is if L of f of t equal to f bar of s then Laplace transform of f dash of t equal to s into Laplace transform of f of t minus f of 0 provided that limit t tends to infinity e power minus a s t f of t equal to 0. Together with this condition we prove L of f of f dash of t equal to s Laplace transform of f of t minus f of 0. Its a proof is from the basic definition Laplace transform of f dash of t equal to apply basic definition to L of f dash of t. According to the basic definition integral 0 to infinity e power minus e s t f dash of t dt. Now to evaluate this integral apply integration by parts formula. Integration by parts formula is if u and v are functions in terms of t integral u v dt equal to u into integral v minus integral u dash integral v. This is by parts formula. Here take u as exponential and this as v. So here u equal to e power minus st so that u dash becomes with respect to t the derivative. So you will get minus s into e power minus st. Next v is f dash of t integral v means integral f dash of t dt. Integral and the derivative cancel you will get f of t. So Laplace transform of f dash of t equal to u into u means e power minus st integral v that is f of t minus integral u dash that is minus s e power minus st integral v that is f of t dt. Limits are from 0 to infinity. Now here integration with respect to t over so in place of t upper and lower limit substitution. In place of t by substituting upper limit infinity here you will get infinity that is e power minus infinity value 0 0 into f of t 0. So by substituting upper limit you will get the value as 0 minus in place of t lower limit substitution e power 0 minus 0 particular so value 1 f of 0 minus minus plus here integration with respect to t that's why we treat s as constant so write down outside of the integral 0 to infinity e power minus a s t f of t dt therefore laplace transform of f dash of t equal to s c into uh, the whole integral is laplace transform of f of t minus f of 0. So Laplace transform of f dash of t equal to s Laplace transform of f of t minus f of 0. So Laplace transform of first order derivative over. Now we are doing Laplace transform of f double dash of t. By the above step L of f dash of t means s into L of f of t. So L of f double dash of t means s into l of f dash of t minus f dash of 0. Now s into l of f dash of t means again from this s into Laplace transform of f of t minus f of 0 minus f dash of 0. So with this s square Laplace transform of f of t minus s into f of 0 minus 
f dash of 0. This is Laplace transform of f double dash of t. So, therefore, we got Laplace transform of f dash of t means s into Laplace transform of f of t minus f of 0. Laplace transform of f double dash of t means s square Laplace transform of f of t minus s into f of s into f of 0 minus f dash of 0. Similarly, Laplace transform of f triple dash of t equal to s a cube Laplace transform of f of t minus s square f of 0 minus s into f dash of 0 minus f double dash of 0. In general, Laplace transform of nth order derivative of t equal to s power n Laplace transform of f of t minus s power n minus 1 f of 0 minus s power n minus 2 f dash of 0 minus and so on minus nth order derivative of f at 0. This is the Laplace transform of derivatives of f of t. Throughout this, in place of Laplace transform of f of t, we may use the notation f bar of s also.